Seaplanes will be allowed to take off and land in Boston Harbor. And WBZ's Nick Giovanni has more on what people in the city think about that idea. So based on the proposal just approved, if you want to hop a flight from Boston to New York, this is where you'd board, Long Wharf. You taxi out into the harbor and then take off from the water alongside Logan Airport. I was a little nervous when I heard it because I take the boat in every day and you know there's a bit of traffic on the water. Cape Air given the green light to do four of those round trip flights daily by the Boston Planning and Development Agency with the approval of the Coast Guard and the FAA. It's a one year pilot program, months in the making, not without a share of controversy. Some have raised concerns over noise, others, safety, with Boston Harbor about to become a runway. A taxiing an airplane with a little bit of wingspan would be really disruptive to this end of the town. That was the focal point of people fresh off a ferry into Boston this morning. In the summer, there's a lot of boats here. You see some moorings over here to the left and right. Mm -hmm. and there's a lot of small boats here that really don't know what they're doing for navigation. Yeah, but I hope that if it was permitted, um, that they took all that stuff into consideration. To account for traffic in the harbor, seaplanes will have to yield the right of way to ferries. Make sure that service isn't interrupted or delayed. I'm talking numbers. A Cape Air spokesperson tells me the flight time should take about an hour to or from Boston. And they say the price uh, should be in line with any walk up fare for any of the shuttles doing New York service from Logan. Reporting from Long Wharf, Nick Giovanni, WBZ News.